Hi Alan, super cool to, to see meet you again from Australia, quite a long way. A long way, I gotta go home but, tomorrow, I'm not looking forward. <laughs> yeah, but here of course uh, coffee is in uh, Italy. Absolutely. And uh, every two years in Milano we, we meet here and uh, it's great to see you. Uh, yeah, yesterday I met you first time, so now you can again. Uh, tell a little bit about the grinder. Absolutely. Uh, so this grinder here is the San Remo X1. Um, it is a beautiful grinder. It replaces three separate grinders on the bar. Um, so right now at the show, we're running a lot of different beautiful coffees on this bar um, and running beautiful coffee experiences. So um, in this hopper, we will have a milk coffee. In this hopper, we have an espresso coffee. Now, up the top, it actually will weigh the beans, the whole beans, before grinding. So you can see on the screen, you've got 21 grams for the espresso and 20.3 grams for the milk coffee. And then we have the grind setting. So it'll automatically adjust grind set to suit the two different coffees. So if I want coffee from the espresso, I just click this button and it will drop the 21 grams into the big burr set. And then if I want to run, for example, a milk coffee, I can jump to this button, the burr set adjusts, and it grinds that milk coffee perfectly for that style. So I can run these coffees for higher volume um, application, or I can use the bypass. So this is where we get the extra grinder in one. So here we got the bypass. We can run single doses for, let's just say a filter coffee, which we've been running here, uh, or a special espresso coffee for the high-end uh, customer. Uh, and we can basically select our grind size, our RPM to suit that coffee, and then single dose in. So this is replacing three separate grinders on one bar. It's pretty crazy that everything is going through one burr set because the, the retention in the shoot is extremely low. So I can jump between coffees without contamination and get the best result out of each one. It's a pretty cool grinder, replaces three, San Remo X1. Oh. Can we test the uh, espresso for? Absolutely. Wow, yeah. So I just ran a filter coffee just yeah. before, so I'm gonna jump to espresso. Yeah. Uh, for filter coffee, I usually run a low RPM because yeah. it makes the coffee taste juicier, more vibrant, which okay, is what we're okay. really wanting for the yeah. filter coffee. Uh, but for espresso extraction, it's very different. Uh, yeah. We've got a short extraction time, we're high concentration, so we don't want too much vibrancy or else the coffee will taste acidic. Yes, yes. So and I'm gonna take- Too acidic is really awful. Yeah, awful. <laughs> awful. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the RPM up to 1,200. Yeah. It's a pretty safe RPM range for a lot of different coffees for espresso. Yeah. Uh, so usually in our shop we do 1200 for espresso and milk and 800 for filter coffee. Yeah, yeah. But if you want to go really deep and really dial your coffee to the high level, you can tweak the RPM anywhere from 800 to 1400. But for today we'll just do 1200. Cool, cool. So, super simple. Yeah, super simple. I'm going to weigh out. Let's go to the special coffee today. Yeah. So this is a beautiful Bolivian natural, SL34. This coffee is absolutely stunning. So I want you to have oh. this. So uh, okay. this coffee is a Kenyan variety um, on a coffee in Australia. Um, so this is beautiful like whiny red wine, cherries, strawberries, oh. uh, but it's also got beautiful huh? tactile, like round yeah. and smooth we, as well. We have so somebody here. <laughs> We have Martin Shabaya. <laughs> Martin, uh, is this a good coffee? Beautiful. Coffee. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. Kenya variety uh, SL34. Huh? Yeah. So of course it's going to be right up his alley. <laughs> so we were running a filter coffee. Now we've just yeah. changed to espresso grind set. Yeah. The Super simple. Yeah. Retention. So boom. 
So basically, we've got what I put in. Wow. So I put in 20.4 grams in, and yeah. I got 20.3, 20.4 grams yeah. out. Yeah, perfect. So, and you can see the grinds are very fluffy yeah. and really even grind size. So this is a beautiful grind set for espresso coffee. And don't you think it's too much, the 20 uh, gram? Uh, this is a 20 gram basket. So yeah. uh, oh, it then. looks like a lot because the coffee yeah. is fluffy. Okay. So you don't have a lot of clumping yeah. throughout yeah. the dose. And we know clumping mm. creates more channeling. Yeah. So so, okay, so we learned something here. It's always good to ask questions. Okay? <laughs> If you don't ask questions, you don't evolve your mindset. Okay? So, yeah. Wow. We got low battery, but <laughs> we'll, make, we'll make it work. Yeah. yeah it's a little bit uneven. That can happen anytime. It's yes. nothing to do. <laughs> nothing yes. to do with the no. ground. That's uh, I call it factor 40. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you, you know what it means? No. It's 40 centimeters in front of the machine. <laughs> <laughs> That's the human influence. Wow. So uh, uh, yeah. 27 seconds. We were dialing in from 26 to 29. Yeah. So I was just running a filter coffee. I popped over to the new grind setting and hit my shot time exactly bang on. So wow. we're going to have some beautiful espresso together. Nice, nice. Ah, so that's how to celebrate life <laughs> in the morning. So this coffee is, yeah, this is one of my favorite espresso coffees that we've run this year. Um, And smell the, um, so you get a huge amount of yeah. cherry, uh, strawberry, mm -hmm. a red wine sort of aroma. Oh. So it's super floral, oh. super aromatic, it's big fruit. Yeah. Like grappa in the evening, espresso in the morning. Huh? <laughs> so it's like really juicy, it's like a juicy cherry and a red wine oh, quality. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, so the, the aromatic mm. intensity is because we don't have pre-ground coffee in the yeah. chamber. So with the traditional grinder, you have between 20 and 40% of your dose mm. is sitting in the burrs already yeah. ground. Yes. And after five minutes, or after 10 minutes, sorry, you can lose up to 50% of some of your very volatile compounds in yeah. the coffee. <laughs> That's really incredible how, how sensitive this uh, product is. Yeah, exactly. So by single dosing, you're ensuring that you retain the high volatile yeah. compounds intensity yeah. and that's why that coffee tastes so aromatic and so yeah. fruity yeah so. I mean what we do here is uh, extract the life energy from a, a jungle uh, forest <laughs> fruit absolutely yeah. Yeah. yeah and so this is what what we do yeah here in Milan it's okay. good okay cool wow good. thanks so much <laughs> cool. 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 wow wow <laughs> <laughs>